Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial we are going to see how to use various commands to substitute variables. Normally during shell programming, whenever you write a shell program or .sh program, we have to handle various scenario. For example, if you want to store a value in variable for temporary purpose use that value and execute the given program so there are a couple of occasions where we have to use these variables and sometimes we need to substitute these variables also so this topic become more important for shell programming perspective so let's start today's session variable substitution it actually enables us for shell means particularly for the shell programmer to manipulate the value of variable based on its state so for example at a start of your program or at initialization of your program the state of variable is different than the state of variable at the end of execution the reason why i'm saying this over the period of execution the value which is we are assigning to particular variable might get modified so that is the reason the state might be different so how to handle those variable how can we substitute these variables in a given program we have several options so if you see in the screen at the left hand side we have five options on the right hand side we have seen we have shown a details about each option the very first option is dollar sign open curly bracket var that is abbreviation for variable close curly bracket it means it is substitute the value of variable then the second option is dollar sign open curly bracket var that is abbreviation for variable colon and then hyphen and then word and after that we have to close the curly bracket what does this option means this option means if var is null or unset word is substituted for var variable the value of var does not change so that means if the variable value var value var is a variable which if it contains null or if you have not set any value to this variable the value available will be word what are the value which you can give you can use any you can replace the word with any value then the sec third option we have is dollar sign open curly bracket var colon equal to sign and then word then close curly bracket what does this option mean this option means if var is null or unset where it's set to value of word so if you see the if you compare the option 2 and 3 you will know the difference word is substituted for var and in the option 3 we are actually setting the value to equal to word we'll see all this in actual example how it works but right now just go through this details the fourth option we have is dollar sign open curly bracket then where as a variable colon question mark and message and then close curly bracket so so far we have seen the colon and a hyphen colon and equal to colon and equation mark a question mark this option means if where is a null or unset message is printed to standard error this check that variables are set correctly so i would say this is the option which we can use for error handling purpose in your program which is more important while writing any program in any programming language so error handling can be achieved using this option the last option and that is fifth option is dollar sign open curly bracket where then colon plus sign then word and close curly bracket this means if where 
is set word is substituted for var the value of var does not change so here is an example as we know we have to set bin and sh as the default programming uh, concept let's see if i say echo dollar sign open curly bracket var colon hyphen and then the value in a double code that variable is not set so that that will be printed then echo in single code we have in double code we have one hyphen value of where is what are the input value or assign value echo then we are dollar where equal to some variable is not set echo two value for variable is then what will the value then we'll use the unset variable to clear the value and then we'll echo value plus this is the default value then echo 3 value of variable is var, whatever value it contains. Then var, we are assigning some value that is technoguru. And the next statement we are printing this is a default value by using the plus icon. And then the, we are printing fourth line as value for variable var. And then we are printing var question mark print message. And then finally we are printing the value of variable. So let's see how it works we have written the same program in our unix box so the program name is var substitution we'll use vi command to see the whether we have written everything correctly so yes we have the declared bin then echo the variable value initially what will be it will be variable not set then it, it will echo the value of variable whatever we are storing here then the we are set is, uh, we are checking the value set or not and then we are printing value of variable then we are doing unset for the value of variable after that we'll we'll see this is the assigned value what is default value then third we are printing what is default value then we are setting some value that is techno guru to variable where then we are printing that value by setting default value and then finally we are handling question mark so we'll see how it get executed in our program so we have to just use var sub and i will show you with the help of program with the help of our logic so if you say it should print variable is not set it's printing variable is not set because that's true we have not set any variable value at the start so that's the reason if the value is not set what are the value we are setting in front of that it will be assigned to this variable then we are printing value of where is let's see what it prints so it says value of where is nothing empty because right now we are not set anything that's true then next is dollar variable variable is not set so it checks whether value is set if it is not set then it will print this value variable is not set and that is what it is printed variable is not set because there is no value till this point then we are printing this a uh, value of where because till this point we are not set any values so it will print empty or null string so that's the reason it is printing variable is not set let's see the next thing this is we just saw then we are doing unset command and we will setting the default value let's see what it shows so two we saw not set so not set is value get assigned so if you see the two i will repeat this again for the two here equal to sign means this value get assigned to this variable where and that's the reason value of where set will be printed as a variable is not set then we are unsetting because right this moment we yeah, assign this value by using equal to sign hyphen means if the value is not it will not set value but if if there is no value this value will be available to use for equal to sign for variable whatever the value you are assigning will be assigned and then we are unsetting value and then we are printing this is the default value let's see what is default value will print it so it says three value for where is this is the default value so that means 
the default value is getting set so this is the default value it is getting assigned to this variable and hit print value of variable is this is the default value so the equal to and plus sign it is going almost same line we'll see the difference if you see the difference at the back say this variable was substituted by the what of the variable so if you see this the option third and option fifth are quite same then we are assigning explicit value that is technoguru and then we are as we are checking whether this this is default value default value will technoguru and that will be printed we'll see that shortly so if you see the fourth option is value of var is technoguru so that is get assigned then the we are checking here the print message if the variable is null then print message right now variable has value so it will not it will print the actual value that is technoguru and then it will finally print value of var is variable so if you see back here the value of var is technoguru because that is the value assigned if you check these uh, statements thoroughly some we are doing the same thing we are actually trying to print the values every time when we set initially we don't set the value then we clear the value by using unset command and then we are assign value and print it again so this is very simple uh, example to how to set the value how to unset the value how to use those variables in your program i hope this tutorial is going to help you to create your shell program and utilize the variables in proper manner if you have any questions or queries about shell programming or about this topic just we discussed that is variable substitution you can definitely mention in the comment section of video thank you again for watching my video if you like my video do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you again and have a nice time